Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Super Psy Guy Poetry Hour. Today we have a poem from the man himself. <clears throat> Tell me how much it hurts. Tell me how much it stings. On the edge of a blade, blood runs fluid. A reflection on crimson, a reflection on steel. See the face of your killer, see the face of your dealer. Die another death, live another day. When the runes run dry, when the blood cakes over. The letters you couldn't read, the images you couldn't see, become as clear as the sky. Tell me what you see, tell me what you feel, in the middle of the night where your lies keep you warm. On the ground you finally fell. I told you what I could do. I told you what I really was. You thought you saw behind the mirror. Turn the glass and meet you, our master. Your day is mine. Your emotions are mine. Your actions were my own. Your time is mine. Your energy is mine. The tears you cry, the fears you wonder. Easy to unwind. Take a look at your hands. A simple task. The hilt is in your hands, and the blade. The blade is yours. The blood is yours. A door slams shut. Tell me how it feels. Eyes looking back. Tell me how it stings. A cloudy sky. Tell me how it feels. Wind on windows. Tell me how it feels. A door slams shut. Very nice, very nice. That was a poem from our very own Psy Guy. You know what, I that poem, it really, really speaks to me. It really does. Deep down, deep down. Oh wait, no, it doesn't, because I'm not a child grooming paedophile. Uh, <laughs> Whoops, well, I forget well. about that. Yeah, you know, it's so hard to just, you know, remember that you're not a terrible human being that has ruined lives of multiple women, including myself. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, god damn. So, uh... Fuck, I feel bad just reading that to you. Do you want to jump in with this video? Oh man, oh man, <laughs> I sure do. Let's go for it. I am so excited. And then black screen. It's my favorite part. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I'm watching this. Oh hey, it's not the game grumps. Just, just, oh man, look at, look at the, the bars on the side there. Yeah, totally not obvious. And my favorite part is how they all just talk over each other. Cause that's what it was like in their podcast too. And I used to be on it. It was just, how many people can we jam in a Skype call and, you know, talk over each other to see who could say the dumbest shit. I also like that this guy represents himself on the internet with like a Sonic fan character, but it's totally original because it has swirly eyes and blue shoes and green fur, oh, and it's just if you if you insult his Sonic character, then he'll sue you. In fact, the only way the way I knew this guy before you know he uh, came up again huh. is from uh, a bunch of like Sonic Sprite comics, which I liked when I was what ten years old. So oh, don't worry, I, that, I was the same way. I mean, I found out about him when I was like eight or nine or so, but then when I was thirteen, I actually decided I was going to talk to him. And big mistake. Oh my god, you don't even know. Like, I went on his live journal and I left comments, and he's like, Hey, who are you? And I'm like, I'm a female fan. And he was like, A female fan? Oh ho ho, my pedo radar's acting up. I joined his group of friends for a little while, which I was so excited by, because I was like, Finally, I'm being paid attention to. I'm 13 years old, what, what does it matter? But he, he let me into his group, and I would go on their podcast, which was just basically this, but with no video game over it, so you can't even pretend to be interested. Then, like, after a while, he eventually kicked me out of the group because um, I wouldn't color art for him while I was, you know, busy doing 8th grade. That sounds rational. Oh, and keep in mind, he's 10 years older than me, so at the time, he's 23 years old, and I'm 13. He's older than I am, and he's acting like this. Okay. Yeah, and he was like, you won't color art for me? Well, you're not allowed in my life then. And I'm like, okay. But when I was 14, I was dumb enough to try to, like, win him back. And he was like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever. 
So we were friends again, except we didn't really talk because he was dating an, uh, this one girl who like hated me for being like a little kid. And wow, I'm deaf now because he just like screamed in my ear <laughs> in the video. The one thing you want to hear is a uh, past abuser screaming, of oh, course. Oh yeah, no, yeah. But he, he doesn't physically abuse people, so he's not a real abuser, right? Oh yeah, just mentally scarring people. P PTSD, uh, yeah. all the works. Oh, no kidding. And so, but then he broke up with that girl, and he was like, hey, we should talk more, because she wouldn't let me talk to you, because she was so mean. And I'm like, okay, let's, let's chat again. So we were friends for a while, and... He, he would just basically call me and this other guy up, who was also, like, a creepy, like, pedo guy. Would that be, a uh, Crikey Dave, may I ask? Oh, oh yes, that that is him, who, he's one of the guys that, you know, Psy manipulates into doing art for him. And so, anyway, um... Oh, man, I need to turn this down. This is just, like, too screechy. Yeah, this is really grating. I've just, I've muted it. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna mute it. Whatever. So, anyway, so we were friends again for, like, a little, for, like, a while, and, uh, he got back together with that girl that didn't like me, and then he found out that she had cheated on him. And by cheating, I mean he hacked into her computer and saw chat logs that she had about, uh, liking another dude, but she didn't want to get together with him because she was happy in her relationship. And so I was like, no, we can't have that. This evil demonist has just cheated on me. And so I'm, I'm in a hotel in Montana. And he calls me on Skype while I'm with my family. He's like, this girl just cheated on me. And I'm like, cool, I'm on a road trip. So he was complaining about that. And then he expressed interest in, you know, wanting to date me because I was so mature for my age and I was so cool. And oh, God, just you saying that made a full body shiver run through me. Just yeah, right there. I was like 16 years old and he was like 26. And I was like, sorry, I'm not interested because I'm in a relationship with somebody else, which happened to be Dave, and we weren't really even in a relationship. He was just having, like, gratuitous amounts of cyber sex with me. He was 24 at the time, and, which I'm laughing about it because it's ridiculous, and that's all I could do to, you know, keep the nightmares away. And um, To uh, to combat the pe some of those people who I'm sure are going to contest that uh, 16 is legal in some countries, it wasn't just you at 16, there were multiple other girls at younger ages. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 like there was, a, there, so, some of the girls were older, but a lot of the girls were about my age, like, there's at least two other girls that were 16 that I could think of, and, you know, 16, 15, around that age that I, I remember who were involved with him in that regard, and he would like, he would ask other younger girls for like panty shots and nudes and stuff, and like, and he would like, give like unsolicited dick pics or whatever. But like, I wasn't interested in him at the time, and then in October of like, what, 2009? He, he signed up for a dating site, and he dated this one girl, fucked her once and dumped her because he wanted to be with me. And I was like, okay, let's be in a relationship, smiley face. And he dumped me after a month because he was just so guilty about dating a 16-year-old. Which, of course, he gets back together with me a month later, dates me for a week, and then dumps me because he's guilty. And then he gets back with me a month later, then dumps me after three days because he's guilty. He couldn't wait, you know, two years, because no, that would... Uh... No, in, fa in fact, he and one of his friends would talk about, well, they would get into arguments over which one of them got to fuck me when I turned 18. Quick, steal a motorcycle! <laughs> yep. They, they sound intent, they sound like they'd be happy to do it at that time. Oh, they were, because I was such a, I was such a perfect, I was such a perfect girl, because, you know, I was such, like, an Amy Rose. I was, you know, positive and naive, and, you know, I was such a... Sorry, such, such an Amy Rose. Yeah, that was his ideal girlfriend. He wanted a girlfriend who would be, like, his Amy, the Amy Rose to his Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, now we're stepping into some uh, Christian Weston Chandler territory, and this is yeah, getting... Yeah, uh... he really just wanted his own heart sweet. And this is a fucking rabbit hole and a half. The, this rabbit hole goes so deep it digs through the earth, and like, goes out the other side, and then goes back in, to back to where the rabbit hole originally started. But anyway, so he didn't try to date me again. I mean, he, he did try to cyber sex me a few times because I had made some comment about having a banana for a snack, and I guess that's like really arousing or whatever. But he was like, "No, your cyber sex writing sucks, and I don't want to do it." So, <laughs> like, so he's criticizing your literary ability to. Because uh... I, I was actually, I was, I was actually trying to be creative. 
I wasn't like, you stick it in my vagina. No, I was actually trying to like write it decently. And he was like, I slowly sneak towards the phone and call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should have done, but no, I was like so like manipulated by him because he would just he would try to like pamper you up by being like, oh, you're not like all those other girls that were just so mean to me. And I'm such a victim of not like those everything. other. Oh, not those other underage girls. I tried. You're not like them. You're not like them. You won't leave me, will you? You're the best member of my 16-year-old harem. Oh, no fucking kidding, because those are the only fans that he gets with his stupid screaming bullshit. Regardless, at the time I was still trying to pursue Dave again because Dave had started to hit on me again, like sending me like weird sexy stories that he would just write off the cuff. And I thought he was interested, but he was like, no, I'm not interested, whatever. And then like Sai would get on my case for it and he would, he would, he would literally get on AIM while I was at school and he would call me a tyrant and say, like, you know, you're, you need, like, the, this blade is yours, you know. He would write this really unnecessarily, like, Game of Thronesy, like, poetic shit about how I was such, like, a horrible human being. Oh yeah, that, um, that poem he read at the beginning to give some context, that was a poem he wrote, uh, specifically about you. About how much he wanted to kill you. He wanted me dead, and I, that's not even the—that's not even the last time he did it. And I will get to that soon. I, I, in fact, I checked out some of the other poetry he wrote, and he likes to go into detail about how much he likes to uh, strangle women. So. Oh yeah, know. like he like he made the side account on DeviantArt and how he wanted to do a picture of like him strangling like a woman who's like slutty and whatever, and it was just so stupid and just so awful, and he. Ugh, like, he would just go after me for, like, months and about this whole thing with Dave and tell me how awful of a person I was, and that really just wonders for your self-esteem. Oh yeah, that sounds great. When, you know, when, like, you're, when you're, when you're, when you're at school and you have someone telling you that you're shit, and then you go home and get on Skype and, they, and then they tell you that you're shit, or they alternatively ignore you so they could play World of Warcraft. But, like, and when they're, like, your only friends, like, and they just decided they want to ignore you for shit that they did. Like, that's kind of, like, messed up. Especially on, like, a kid who just wants, like, approval. But, regardless, I just gave up on them. And then I got my current boyfriend, who is an animator, and he's really cool, and he's actually doing something with his life. And they were not happy about that. In fact, uh, Sai tried to get it out of me when, um... I said I was I had started dating somebody because I didn't want to I didn't want to jump the gun in case my boyfriend would be uncomfortable saying that we were dating right away and so then like eventually Sai insulted me until I said it and I was like I, I didn't want to tell him because I knew he'd tell everybody and so then I said it and then he told everybody and then like a couple of people called me and were like oh my god you're dating such and such and like one of his friends even tried to call him and warn him about me Saying you shouldn't be dating this girl, she's crazy. Fuck me, they're like evil exes, they just won't fucking leave you alone. No, and uh, yeah, Jesus Christ, and so things were fine for a little while until Sai got mad at me for me, like, tweeting some song lyrics on my Twitter, and he decided just to start a whole smear campaign against me. Like, they would, uh, they would not leave me alone. I couldn't go anywhere on the internet without them finding what I was doing. And then uh, making fun of it, like they would edit my Facebook profile pictures, they'd go on my Tumblr and like copy and paste posts just to make fun of, and they even threatened to release my phone number on their show. Oh sh! Fuck. They, okay. They threatened to release my phone number on the show so they could have fans call and bother me, and it, it got to the point where like uh, Sai sent me an email with my phone number in the title and with a list of serial killers in the email. Like, a link to a website about serial killers, which I remember hearing before about somebody doing this and that it was, like, considered a death threat. So he basically threatened to kill me because I didn't want to be his friend anymore. This is, like, wow. To those people out there who thought that Retsu Day would be the most uncomfortable thing I ever feature on this channel, oh boy, no, we have topped that. <laughs> it, yeah, you really have. And, that, and, and to think that my story is not even the worst. Like, there's... There's so many worse. Yeah, when you brought this up on Tumblr, there was like, there's now like, 
What was it, like 10 other girls? 10, all... 10 other girls, and like a bunch of them have similar stories to mine, but some have even worse. Like, you know, for example, one of my friends was like stuck with him for years, and like she lived with him at one point, and like he threw her out of his house, and just a bunch of like stupid bullshit. And ugh, it was just so bad. And eventually, like, we just decided to be friends again because I was just tired of being like insulted constantly. And we were friends for a little while, and we he got into an argument with me over some My Little Pony shit. By the way, he's a brony. Oh, you don't fucking say. Oh, he, he's a brony, and he's into Danganronpa, and he's into Supernatural, and Doctor Who. <laughs> oh my god, it's like, oh, all the best possible, like, quirks a person on the internet can have combined into one stellar individual. He just, this guy knows what he likes. He likes Sonic, he likes My Little Pony, he likes statutory rape. He's, he's all about that shit. Because he just wants to be popular. He wants he wants to have a huge horde of fans to pay attention to him so he doesn't have to work. And, you know, he could just sit at home, have his parents pay half his rent, which they already do, and, you know... Oh, his mum and dad, or his um, rich lawyer uncle, the one who'll be the one who'll be the one who'll be taking you to court for calling him out for being a paedophile shithead. I'm um, sorry. I'm spending most of this video with my mouth just on the floor. My bottom jaw is just bang there. So. Oh yeah, look at his Sonic character, by the way. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. That's great. He he it used to be like this, the same thing, but just he was wearing like Dragon Ball Z like style like robes and have like demon claws, and he would say it was like the dark demon side of him, but like to that just like came out when he was angry or whatever. He thought he was like such a like he I'm such a dark terrible person, which yeah you are, but not well, for the reasons is, yeah. that not for the reasons that you think of. But anyway, um, we started to be friends again, and uh, he we got into a fight over some stupid. So I made some stupid comment about him, like uh, getting some. I think it was like he got some voice actor to do like a Wachow thing for him for like his dumb show, and I was and I just made some stupid remark about how like he still keeps getting famous people to promote him, even though he doesn't deserve it. Yeah, he he cowtows to like internet celebrities all the time in a desperate sad bid to make himself more popular. Oh yeah, like that's what he does. Like he he bothers whoever he can get his hands on to try to be on his show so he can become friends with them and become more popular. And it's only really worked once with the guy who does uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, who's a nice dude, but it's like, uh, please get away from him. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, wow. Little Karipo, get the fuck away. Yeah, no kidding. And, um, oh man. So we stopped being friends, and I wrote a post about him, like a similar one, and he thre tried to threaten to sue me, which is what he's doing this time, too. Oh, this is the part where I step in, and I'm noticing him being a fucking disgusting scumbag. Is he threatens to sue you for libel? Even though you're bringing up shit that he's done to you? <laughs> But what reason would, like, even if I were just a, th well, I kind of am, if I'm a third party staring in with no knowledge of this, no bias, why would you make this shit up against him? What possible motivation would you have? Yeah, he just, he was just like, what the hell, get over it. And since, like, I wouldn't, he was like, well, I'm, well, I'm gonna sue you now, whatever, like, see you in court. And I'm like, yeah, you know, take me to internet court, you know, get Phoenix Wright to, you know, defend me or whatever. Yeah, uh, every internet man-child has an uncle who is a lawyer. Oh yeah, no kidding. And, ugh, he, he, I remember the first time he brought it up, like, I, one of my friends who's, like, an ex-friend of his, like, told me later that whatever lawyer he brought it up to, like, laughed at him about it. About it and just like shoot and like shoot him <laughs> shoot him away and i was like that's perfect so so uh, i was uh, sexually abusing this underage girl and she's trying to tell people about it what can i do um how about like you know go away forever i think that's a pretty good option hey hey sly guy sly guy if you're watching this bro bro you haven't sexually assaulted me come at me with your fucking lawyers i dare you <laughs> Ever since, like, that last time and now this time, I haven't really heard from him or spoken to him. And, I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but it's kind of hard to live when you're constantly reminded of something that 
someone pulled on you years ago, like during your most vulnerable time, which is when you're a teenager, you've been diagnosed with like PTSD and agoraphobia, which which kind of falls under like generalized anxiety. So it's kind of a mix of the two and then like depression and stuff. And I take medication, go to therapy, whatnot. And he was like, get over it. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I gotta say, a part of me does feel kind of bad for making you like well, making you, but for asking you to step up and say all this. So again, sorry. Uh, at, th at this at this point, I've become numb to the idea of like speaking about it because I've done it a lot, and f the fact I I wrote that post originally not to call him out, but just to tell a bunch of friends, like just give friends a reference because I make friends really quickly and they learn about it, and then I'm and I could just easily just drop a link. Be like, here, this is what happened, because I, I just didn't feel like explaining it to, like, the 18th person. So, and then it just took off, and other people started telling their stories. And I'm like, wow, that's not what I was expecting, because I'd long since given up on the idea of him going away forever. Because, I mean, he's kind of like Dark Side Phil. Like, he's just too egotistical to, like, leave, even though everybody hates him. I think that's an insult to Dark Side Phil, because Dark Side Phil, from what I understand, does not want to fuck minors. No, I'm pretty sure he's fine. I mean, no, he's not, but he doesn't want to, like, you know, whatever, ugh. That, that's all I can really say, is just, ugh. Just this whole thing is disgusting, and the fact that he thinks he has any right to try to shut us down for speaking the truth about him, because we'd remain silent, like, all of us had remained silent for years, and finally, like, we're in an environment now to where um, we can speak about it. I do worry a little bit, but I think I'll be okay. And I'm just glad that I can speak about it and let people know that, hey, especially if you're like a little, like an underage girl, which a lot of his fans are, you should stay away from this dude. When you send like dick pics to 16 year olds and like ask them to send back their boobs, like that's kind of a crime. Kind of. No, that that is a crime. That is a full-on <laughs> crime. That's that is, very that, illegal. That is, defi that is definitely a crime. And, like, if you've considered... If, if you at home have considered sending your penis to, like, a 16-year-old, how about you don't do that? Just, just don't. Just don't. <laughs> We've all learned something today. Advice for life. Oh, man. So, uh, I guess a big takeaway from this as well is that uh, if you guys are fans of Guy or, you know, you subscribe to him or whatever, please undo that. Do not support him in any way. He should probably be in prison right now. Fuck this guy!